So yeah, I don't have a screen recorder on my other phone. So let's just do it here. I want to do this video again for any new people that show up. It is very clear what I'm getting ready to show you. It's very clear. It's very clear. It's right here in front of you. And to deny it, to deny it, I mean, I'm getting ready to show you something that's revealed from outside of this realm. Revealed outside of 3D. So here we go. And you re either receive it or you don't. So first of all, we see Paul. Now the Apostle Paul had some power because he went to the third heaven. He was called. And notice the P-A, Pa. And notice the A-U-L, all. So back in the day, way back, they would take a slave and put their ear at the door and, then, and take an awl and pierce their ear, represented slavery. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ. Paul, a slave of God, a slave of Christ, a post. He's a post. He's a pillar. A post of God, L-E or E-L, goes back to God, El Shaddai, Elohim, etc., etc., of Jesus Christ. J-E is Jehovah. S is integrating us back in through Jesus. God, through Jesus, is integrating us back in. So the first S is integration. The U-S is us. Christ is Christos. Q-R-S-T in the alphabet. Christ. Christ. Christos. Christos. By the will of God to the saints. So you used to be ain'ts. And see that letter S? It's an integration sign. You used to be ain'ts and now you're saints. Which are at Ephesus. And notice the word us again. And the faithful in Christ Jesus. Faithful, full of faith. It's right here in front of us. It's been here our whole life. And anybody who teaches it, they have to shut them down. Because if, I, if you can actually see the source code is in the words, you might say, well, how come the words have the source code? What do they speak in heaven? Words. When John the Revelator went to heaven, he spoke to angels and he spoke to glorified saints and they spoke words. What connects the 3D to the, to the 5D? Words. The Spirit of Truth. The design of God. God designed this place. It's a construct. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. So grace is running the race through G. G is Golgotha. Number seven, it is finished. Race. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. My gift is teaching. I can rightly divide this word. I can show you that it's faith alone in Jesus alone. I can show you eternal security in the Bible. I can show you that Man is, a, is born in sin, and he needs to go from the flesh mind to the spirit mind on every page, every sentence, every chapter, every paragraph. It's the same truth. It's encoded in your fingernail. It's encoded in your hair. It's encoded in the tire on your car. It's encoded everywhere. And this is why they want to shut the truthers, the real truthers down. What's the Bible say? A prophet's not known in his own hometown. They want to shut you up and run you off. Because you're going to set some captives free. You're going to set some people free. And the devil don't like you uh, going in his territory and, and breaking some people free. So he's got to lie. 
He's going to lie about you, make things up just not true, pretend to be you. They actually want to steal your identity and take your identity and put it on something else. And they want to try to make you do their agenda and make you make you into a copy of them. And if they can't do it, they pretend they did it. They have to pretend they did it because they get paid to, to push somebody in a certain script. And when they fail and they royally fail, they get knocked down the totem pole, right? So to what is the what is the race? Grace, the grace of God, love and truth. If you have grace in your heart towards people and you have truth, you win in the you're winning the race. And peace. Now notice the word peace. So C E is walking in the spirit. E A is E A Sports is in the game, the the face to face turning machine. P is the PA. P.E. is physical education. And so what happens is down here in uh, the tribulations and the trials and all, it moves you to a state of peace eventually. If you, pr pay, if you pray for peace, you're going to have trouble. You hear that so many places. So many preachers will say, don't pray for peace because you're going to have trouble if you do. Well, we'll pray for peace. And when the trouble comes, God will carry you through it, right? And so when you get hit, it's EA Sports is in the game. It's a physical education. It's to, to birth in the baby. So when you start to cry, it's the baby being birthed. The baby's cry, right? So when you're moving to your new state, you're, you're birthing. You're going to cry. And I'm not talking about actual tears. I'm talking about the pain of moving to your new state. It's just like a baby coming out of the womb and the, baby, the, the doctor smacks the baby, the baby starts crying. You're moving to your, your spiritual state from your flesh mind to your spirit mind. Grace and peace unto you. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So you're in Christ. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. He chose us. Having predestinated us to the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. It's his will. He chose us. He's going to change you. He's going he's to give, turn you into a holy, separated people. Not like the world. And so when you're not of the world, the world has to persecute you. If they persecuted Jesus, they're going to persecute you, is the servant greater than the master, just like they persecuted Paul. Just like they persecuted the disciples. And there's nothing new. It's a fractal. It's a story that repeats. To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved, and in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace, wherein He hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will. He has made known to us the mystery, according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself, he purposed in himself, that in the dispensations of the fullness of time, he might gather together, gather, gat her, gat heirs, because the joint heirs, the body of Christ, follows after Christ, just like the wife follows after the husband. Together, to get her, to get heir, so the, the female part represents the body of Christ, represents the body. The male represents the head. Everybody has a head. If you had two heads on your body, you would be a monster. So the female is the body, the man is the head, just like Christ is head of his church because he came before, he's the forerunner, and he sets the pace. 
So the man in the home sets the pace. And so the society's flipped the home upside down where a woman wants to be Jezebel and she wants to be the head and she can't be the head because it's against the universe and that's why she's frustrated when she tries to be the head. She's trying to demasculate the man and the man's not happy. She's not happy because it's, you can't take the head and make it the body and the body and make it the head, period. It's just the way it is. This is why they attack me, because I can see through the game. And it's a fractal holographic truth. And it's in every dispensation, every age, every society, China, Russia, USA. When you try to change the home, the pattern of the home is the, the root of a society. Society starts to break down. And they want to destroy society. So that's why they attack people who speak the truth. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, you might gather to get her, to gather to get her, get her in one, in one, the two become one, all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. This is why they don't like the teaching of the holographic script. I'm reading it on a 2D tablet, phone tablet. Just like it was written on a 2D or a 3, excuse me, I'm reading it on a 3D tablet, but it's like a 2D surface. Just like when they wrote it in a 3D tablet, in the clay tablets, God is writing on the tablet of your heart the truth. But it was written in 5D. <clears throat> so when you open a book and you read it in 2D paper, and it's really not 2D, it's all 3D. So it was written in 5D, but when you look at the 2D book, it's actually representing what's happening in your 3D heart, your 3D and 5D heart and your 5D mind because mind is spirit. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. In whom we have also obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him whose work with all things after the counsel of his own will that we should be to the praise of his glory who trusted in Christ. In whom you also trust after that you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation and whom also after that you believed you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. So they heard of their faith to all and their love unto all saints. So they had agape love, God's love to all their brothers and sisters in Christ, right? All of them. Why? Because you, you saw where I said one. Together in one. All things in Christ. He gather, he's gathering those things in heaven, in earth, together in one. In Christ. The typology is Christ and his church. The spirit and the bride say come. Drink of the water of life freely. The man and woman represent the head and the body. The body is not the head and the head is not the body and when you try to flip things you create chaos and the universe is against you period when you're in tune with the universe you're in tune with the truth you're in tune with what i just said then everything flows and all the demons of hell they can lie about you they can attack you they all the witches can try to curse you and all that stuff but it's all vanity they can't stop you when you're in tune with the universe. Because you have a, you were called before the foundation of the world. And if you think about that, everything that's playing out right now is part of your growth process. And so it's teaching you to walk by faith. You're saved by faith, you walk by faith. And if you go to chapter 2, you can see that it's faith alone, not of works. So right here it says, for by grace are you saved through faith, and not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created 
in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has ordained that we should walk in them. So he ordained it before the foundation of the world. It's all about a gathering together in oneness. He's on your side. He's on your team. He's against the, the, he's angry with the wicked every day. Those who rejected Jesus, he's angry with them. His bow is bent. They can't stop you. They can't change the sanctification process. They can't change the glorification. You've already been justified by faith. Nobody can stop you from moving to your next state. It's impossible. It is impossible. Because God is God. And no matter how hard they try to curse you, no matter how hard they try to uh, befall you, it always backfires. Because God has a sanctification. See, God looks on the heart. Man looks on the outside. Man believes the lies of man. But God looks on the heart, and he knows the heart. And he's going to sanctify you if you're his, because he scourges every son he receives. But the devil, he don't care about his kids. And so they're going to spiral downward. As you spiral up, they're spiraling down. And that's just the way it is. It is what it is. And it was predestined. Your inheritance is sure. Your inheritance is solid as a rock. And it's not going to change. And all their games and all their lies and all their tricks and all their schemes always fail. Now, yeah, they bring it when they, they'll, a new one will come on board. We know that. But they will, but you've already seen the game a thousand times. So all, all I'm doing is showing you that there's code within the code. The seed is within the seed. The word is within the word. The truth is in the truth. And the truth is encoded everywhere at a fractal holographic level that even in your fingernail, your body, your home, your church, your car, your job, the truth is encoded everywhere. And they can run, but they can't hide. Because in Him we live and breathe and have our being. And He sustains us. By Him all things consist. He's holding it all together. So the truth is right in front of you. The truth is in you. The truth, the objects in front of you are object lessons. You can't hide from the truth. And if you're trying to hide from God, you're wasting your time. Because God is everywhere. Because you're in Him. This whole thing is in Him. The 3D is a pocket universe. The, the ether of the spirit is everywhere. But the reason we're in a pocket universe is because it's a birthing process. And not only are we being protected in this pocket universe, because the moon is the moon mint's blood, we have the blood covering, but we are also contained in this pocket universe to keep us from affecting what's out there, contaminating on the other, look, when you look up at the sky, it's, it's black. You got the stars, but you got the black sky. It's dark. You're in a womb. You're moving from the flesh mind to the spirit mind. And so the flesh is being cut and the spirit is being cut in. And so those of us who are no longer of the terrestrial, but we're extraterrestrial, they're going to attack because we are the aliens now walking down here among them and we see past their lies. We see past their gaslighting. We see past their games. We see past their drama. And they know we can see them and it makes them mad so they have to shut you down, shut you up, try to kill you, try to take you out. That's their whole purpose is to create their little fake reality to, to, to live in their little... Uh, created world because they don't want to live in God's God's truth. They want to create their own truth, which is in, which is total total insanity. <laughs> it's total insanity. Well, that's my truth. You don't have your truth. What are you talking about? There's none of your truth. There's God's truth, or there's no truth at all. And for them to say, "Oh, that's my truth," they're they're delusional. They're insane. They really are insane. 
And so you can do this with all the words. You can break them into parts. And you can see the deeper truth right here in front of you. The chief cornerstone. ST is snake on the cross. O-N-E is one. Is Neo. Is Eon. Is Noah. O-N-E. N-E-O. Eon. Neo. Noah. N-O-E is Noah. Neo is N-E-O. So the stone. Jesus is Neo. Jesus is the one. Jesus is the neon light through all the ages that he's shining forth in every age that people would receive Christ into their heart by faith. And those who reject will burn forever in the lake of fire. And the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever as a sweet smelling offering because they wanted to be their own sacrifice. And since they wanted to be their own sacrifice, it has to be a burnt offering forever. And they will burn forever because they rejected the only sacrifice that God accepted, which was His Son. They rejected the only hope by trying to come in through the back door, which you can't do. You can't do it. There's only one way, and Jesus is the way. One way. Only one way.